Alright guys, the awful TikTok family is not, uh, is lying about their height family of TikTok star Marie Tamara. Their heights are 7 foot 5, 7 foot 9. Guys, they don't even look that tall, bro. Right, guys? They look like 6 feet something, man. 6 foot 3, 7 foot 10, and 7 foot... That guy looks like he's 5 foot, man. Wait, what's going on, dog? They're, they're trolling. But flat. Only these numbers are a complete and utter lie. None of... Shaking my head, bro. Come on, now. Do anything for clout, it seems, bro. Don't be doing that. None of them are actually this tall and everybody. Wait, are you 6'3 or 7'0? Used to be 6'2 like a month ago. Cringe. Thought your tallest bo brother was 6'7'10. He's wearing heels. This chick has multiple pages and lies on all of them. He has begun to notice it. Let me show you how. Marie began on social media by detailing her life as a very tall woman. She posted videos such as this one talking about the struggles of. Uh, she looks decently tall, but not huge, huge. Not like. Finding dresses. How, how tall are WNBA players, guys? Are they like seven foot? Which fit before concluding with a self confident message showing that she was comfortable in her own skin. In other videos, Marie joked about dancing with the short king because he's the only one at the club not intimidated by her height. Guys, would you guys be intimidated? I mean, she's still tall, a little bit tall, but I don't know why she added discrepancies, man. I I've seen a few of their TikToks, guys. So, exactly how tall was she? Well, considering she could hold her feet above doorways and refrigerators. Jeez, bro. That's quite, quite big, bro. I can't even do that. <laughs> How can you lift my leg that high, guys? It seems she was close to seven feet. However, she'd reveal in a different video that she was actually six foot one. Marie then restated that she was six foot one in a different TikTok video. However, only one day. Dang, all I gotta go do is go back on her TikToks and see the real height she's been a. Uh, Explaining herself as, guys. After claiming this, she'd post a new video in which it appeared she'd grown another inch. Wait, you're six foot two? Bro, it's because the shoes, right? The, the shoes have a uh, added or some height. Now, did you Tall girls are you. What kind of TikTok account is that? Did you grow? Uh, yet the likelihood that she'd had some unexpected overnight growth spurt. Dang, bro, she's on famous birthdays now. She made it at that point, right guys? Was low given she was already 27 at the time of posting the video. What seemed more likely was that Marie's height was being embellished to make her situation seem more interesting, with the sudden change instantly reducing how much the audience trusted. Maybe she just had a growth spurt, right guys? Her. What is your actual height? Each of your TikToks seem to say something different. Yet Marie stood strong with her previous claim in an article reading, I'm six foot two and dating is almost impossible. I'm tired of being called a man. Hey bro. Some clarity was then provided when Marie introduced her even taller six foot five mother to the videos. Although what Marie failed to disclose was that her mother is a little more famous than the audience might have realized. In a previous video, it had been mentioned that the mum was a former professional basketball player, and therefore by googling her name, Christine Tamara, it's not difficult to find a bunch of public information. Okay, so she wasn't lying there, guys. Six foot five. The, ge the genetics did pass down. There's an article from April 2. Why didn't, why didn't uh, the other one play uh, basketball, guys? Why didn't her daughter play basketball? She was like, screw that, I'm gonna be a TikTok star. 2016, explaining that she played university basketball in 1981, which exposed another lie that the mother was a WNBA player, considering the WNBA wasn't even founded until 15 years later in 1996. Oh, wait, wait, she's. Oh, come on now. She's lying. What? Hey, bro, WNBA was founded after I was born. Though in possibly the first truth told on Mari Tamara's channel, the article confirmed that the mother was in fact six foot five, yet it'd be pretty dumb to lie about this considering its public record. What Marie failed to realize is that there are also public sporting records confirming her height, but we'll get to that later. With the videos between Marie and her oh, snap. mother going viral, the rest of the family- 6'10 in heels, bro, that's so- so much. She was then introduced as the tallest family on TikTok, where Marie established her brother Shane at six foot nine, her second brother Troy at six foot ten, and her father Mike at six foot. Guys, look. How is he six foot three, but he's shorter? No, oh, because he has heels on, guys. But that guy does not look that tall, man. 
or three, well, that's assuming they were all telling the truth. The video of the family exploded, gaining over 4 million views. That's huge, man. I wish I got 4 million milli views, bro. Incentivizing them to continue making content. They do a bunch of unique videos like showing their shoe sizes and talking about their weight at birth. Yet it was their how tall are the kids and the things we make look small videos, which perform the best, gaining over 20 million views. No oh, snap, bro. Get going giga viral, man. Giga viral. Each. The family then made a dedicated Instagram called Team Tamara before Marie, Shane, and even the mother began doing paid content, with Marie stating in a WFAN interview that she made more than six figures in her very first month. This was them. Gosh, man. I'm so jelly. Why does everybody make. Why all the social media stars but fan of make huge amounts of money? Followed by a New York Post article two months later reading, Tamara says she now rakes in an average of $189,000 per So she's doing OnlyFans, guys? A month, and once banked $295,000 in a single- Bro, how does everybody have so much money to pay for this? Well, 30 day period. This gave the family a very strong incentive to not only keep going, but to perhaps embellish their height even further. Although since they'd already posted multiple videos, each claiming that Marie was the shortest at six foot two and Troy was the tallest at six foot 10, it felt as though the truth had finally been established. Until all of a sudden, Marie had grown another inch and was now six foot three. Dude, I- Oh my gosh. What, what's going on here? I swear I can't with this stuff. At first you're six, Did she six one, then six two, and now you're six three. Come on now. Weren't you six two a couple of weeks ago? Can we get a six foot three measurement to prove? Although the f yeah, she needs to prove herself, bro. Family was offering no such video. Instead, Marie continued to claim that she was now six foot three, with the trend so far already hinting at what was about to happen. Instead, Marie skipped seven whole inches to make the claim that she was now six foot. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, she's 6'10 now. Ten, at which point the audience simply didn't know what she should call herself 7 foot 10 now. It was true. 6'2 or 6'3 or 6'10, what? 6'10, 6'3, what's the real height? OMG, bro, you change your height in every video. First 6'3, then 6'2, now 6'10. Yet the backlash against her lies seemed to have no impact on her follower count. And if anything, when would it, man? In continuing to lie only boosted the family's presence further. Oh snap, it, was it a social media business move? Here, guys. Three months after claiming that she'd magically gone from 6'2 to 6'10, Marie and the family had their best month ever gaining over 400,000 TikTok followers, and it was only after her unexplained 6'10 growth spurt that Marie began to see any growth over on YouTube. Dang, bro. On top of this, Marie would post a TikTok stating that the family was now making $800,000 per month, leading her to buy a $245,000 Aston Martin, although she'd then state that she was apparently too big to fit inside it. Oops. With heels she is. It, which was a shame given she and the family, as unbelievable as it might sound, were about to get even taller. On the 14th, <laughs> what? 14th of April 2000... <laughs> oh, dude. Come on now. 2023, Marie Tamara uploaded a TikTok now claiming to be seven foot tall. Oh my god. Bro, I don't think growth hormones work like that, bros. Bro, she started at 6'1", now she's seven feet, bro. However, in order to make it believable, she'd also need to scale up everybody else in the family. Emily. So her brother Troy became seven foot seven. Her other brother Shane became seven foot five, <laughs> while the mother became seven foot two. Even the moms are participating in this, bro. Oh my gosh. The only person <laughs> whose height hadn't changed was the dad, who stayed put at six foot three. <laughs> Yet this was only a plot to get more views, but we'll explain that in just a second. In the meantime, Marie gained over 50 million views on one single TikTok stating, I'm not <laughs> She's gonna be eight feet next, guys. That tall when I'm with my mom, in which the mother's height had been embellished yet again from seven foot two <laughs> to seven. <laughs> oh my god. Foot five. In the next video, the mother had grown another inch to seven foot six. <laughs> yet at this point, someone in the comments pointed out a fatal flaw in the family story. Nah, that's crazy because the Guinness World Record holder for the tallest woman is 215 centimeters, and it's a very. Uh oh. See so yeah, how they're not replying to comments or nothing, guys.
Making 700k trolling about their height, man. What is going on? Very good point. At a height of 229 centimeters or 7 foot 6, Marie Tamara's mum would be the second tallest woman currently alive, the second tallest woman in American history, and the 11th tallest woman ever recorded. <laughs> Yet she's no <laughs> Oh my gosh. Nowhere to be seen on 8 foot and 4 and a half inches is the highest. On Wikipedia. Dang, bro. Media's list of tallest people. On top of this, if Marie Tamara herself was really seven foot, she should also be on this list right next to seven foot Uljana Semjanova. Although, again, she's suspiciously nowhere to be seen. When <laughs> called out for the lie in a comment reading, bro, you are not. Guys, Guinness needs to look into this, bro. Seven foot, you are six foot two. Marie responded by pulling out a tape measure to some arbitrary length before holding it up against her shoulder and claiming that it was six foot too long. She <laughs> then doubled down in the comment section by stating, if I was six two, would I be able to grab the fan so easily? Yet she'd then get destroyed in the reply. Man, she got verified lying about her height, guys. As by someone who simply wrote, I'm 6'2 and have no problem doing it. The only evidence Marie had to prove that she was actually 7 foot was that she stood about a head taller than her dad. However, even this was a lie, as Marie had simply gotten sneakier with her camera angles. In video, you change your height in every video yeah. first. Although as highlighted by this comment reading, she's standing in front of the heels and is possible. Even this was a lie, as Marie had simply Very gotten good. sneakier with her camera angles. In videos such as this one, where the brothers had grown yet again to 7 foot 9, wow. 7 foot 9 and 7 <laughs> foot 10, the dad is standing at the back <laughs> while the bottom of the frame is cut off at the feet, where it's obvious Marie is wearing heels and is possibly- Damn, they're getting sloppy with it now, guys. They're messing up their craft. Even standing on something. When your ankles are mid-calf on the person next to you, hmm. The only time Marie showed herself standing on flat ground was in the videos where her father isn't present. Although as highlighted by this comment reading, she's standing in front of the door and the camera is low. It's an illusion to make them taller. There are even more tricks at play here. For example, in this video, Marie claimed that she couldn't fit inside a shower. You know, <laughs> It's so literally like a giant. Ankles are almost as high as the on-off tab, while in this video, it's obvious that she's simply standing on the edge of the bath, and she's not the only person in the family using this trick. Over on Shane's personal Insta- It's way too tall for, like, most stuff that we- we- uh, as humans use, right, guys? <laughs> Look at the one in the middle here. Oh my god. Instagram, his 7 foot 5 inch height places him head and shoulders above a door frame, yet the camera cuts off well above his knees and this isn't even the worst part. And he's definitely standing on something, bro. But in a pinned post, Shane has his basketball stats listed, in which it confirms that he's 2 meters and 6 centimeters, or 6 foot 9 inches, and he's not the only person in the family to have their sporting records online. Troy, apparently the tallest in the family, seems as though he's just going with the flow of the family's antics. However, that's not to say his displayed height is accurate. In a George Mason University basketball profile, Troy's height is listed not as Dang, it's a basketball family, guys. <laughs> 7 foot 10. 7 foot 10, but rather as 6 foot 8, while other basketball websites- Guys, that'd be taller than most basketballers right there. Let's list his height at 6 foot 9, meaning that he's not only the same height as the other brother, but he's at least 1 foot 1 inch shorter than what's being shown on TikTok. You put TikTok height, man. Meanwhile, Shane's apparent height of 7 foot 9 is a foot taller than his actual height, while the mother's TikTok height of 7 foot 5 is <laughs> also a full foot taller than her actual height. But what about Marie, the mastermind of the whole operation, whose social- He's like, okay, family, I have an idea. We're gonna get rich. We're gonna lie about our height on TikTok. Social media presence is so untruthful, she even lies about what kind of men she's into just to make more money, stating that she's attracted to 5 foot 9 short kings while simultaneously Guys, I'm 5 foot 6. Yeah. Claiming that dating at my height is almost impossible, as it is extremely difficult to find a guy taller than me. Well, according to an old cross country. Wait, is she trying to become taller? Or get a guy taller, man? What? Running profile. She's not 7 foot, not 6 foot 10, not 6 foot 3, or even 6 foot 2. She's rather 6 feet and 1 inch tall, as was stated in her first few videos. The only person mm -hmm. whose height hasn't been lied about at any point is the dad's at 6 foot 3. Yet again, this was only done to. <laughs> 
make the others seem taller. But I guess posting a real family photo like this one without manipulated camera angles just wouldn't I know, right, guys? They don't look, <laughs> they don't look nearly as tall, bro. They look like average. Basically, almost average height, man. ...receive the same kind of exposure. Despite this, the family continue to claim that they're a group of seven-foot-tall giants, earning millions of views and dollars by doing so, while irritating the entire... <laughs> Are they still doing it, man? It, the meta has shifted from lying on dating profiles. You could just lie on TikTok, man. Imagine shaping your whole personality around being tall. The fact that anyone could look at them and not tell they're lying about six foot is a sad indication of human intelligence. TikTok is certainly part to think. As a non-TikTok user, it's sometimes nice to get a chance to look into stories into this. Like this. Guys, I am addicted to TikTok. But yeah, guys, that's our video. Check out um, Sunny V2 in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Um... Do all my reactions live on Twitch. So if you want to come over, say hi. Maybe maybe Twitch Prime, donate would be appreciated. Later, guys.